today's guest co-host is an expert in biohacking fitness and healthy aging. Founder of Restore Fitness, he's also pioneering advanced fitness recovery techniques and creating solutions that promote healthier lives. Please welcome to the show uh, Dr. Eli Abirashid. Eli, bless you, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate me. it. Shall we start with definitions, if we can, as we said at the sort of top, how do you define biohacking? So the general definition, which was said at the earlier in the show, but I'd like to extend this a little bit more to say it's also about our environment, okay. internal and external. And I extend further by saying it's also about the past, the present and the future, because we learn a lot from the wisdom of the ages that are actually applied into the biohacking techniques, approaches, experimentation that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And all of us are biohackers, okay. Okay. realizing it or not. Mm. <laughs> and that's exactly what I was telling Amy a little bit earlier on, because if you make any sort of changes to your daily lifestyle, that would come under the umbrella of biohacking. Now, there are so many things that come under this yes. very umbrella. How important would you say sleep is when it comes to biohacking? If I were to choose one thing, I would focus on sleep because it's rejuvenative not just for the body, but also for the brain. It's the only time that your brain gets rejuvenated and, and ready for the next day. So good, strong, uh, healthy sleep on a regular basis is super important. So if there's only one thing you could make changes to right now, it would be that. Mm. Um, however, for me, I always think holistically. It is really important that one thing makes a change, but it's not the change that you really want completely to feel as healthy as possible. So uh, working out, moving, absolutely super important for your metabolism, for your health, for your longevity, as we said earlier. Um, all of these different things kind of come together. What you put in your mouth, the, the supplements that you take in. Um, and what I focus on also myself a little bit more is things to do, for example, with your um, uh, environment, the people that you are with, mm. the, the amount of stress that you are under. If you do not have a purpose, and this is actually documented, many, many studies were done about this. If you do not have a purpose in life, it actually can shave off about seven years of your, of your, of your life. Um, just be having a purpose. So that means, if, if for example, at 65 when people retire, mm. generally people don't live much longer mm. after mm -hmm. that, only because they've lost their purpose. If they don't find a new one to go on. And that purpose could be anything. It could be, you know, leading a business or, or, or um, waiting for your grandchildren or, or, you know, anything at all that is, that is motivational for you. Mm. Um, and the other one that I always, always try to focus on is trauma. Um, trauma also to shaves off about six or seven years. So between these two, if you're able to properly kind of work on these two, uh, you've, you've added already, you know, 10 to 14 years on your biological clock. I feel like I might be a goner. All the trauma <laughs> and no sense of purpose. I'll be done. I'll be fried soon. I hope not. <laughs> but no, seriously, about nutrition. Like yes, you mentioned there, like, I want to talk to you specifically, like, about like, yes. gut health as well. Like, I'm hearing a lot that, like, gut health has got a lot to do with you know how, how we can kind of prolong like longevity healthy lifestyle etc yes. so how important is nutrition when it comes to biohacking so the source of everything for your body for your biology comes from the gut right yeah. so your microbiome what happens in your stomach is key to reduce inflammation to give you energy to produce the right amount of nutrients for your body to do what it does best what most people forget is that we have an amazing machine that we are in mm. that is incredibly capable of doing so many beautiful things including like you cut yourself it heals how amazing is that like it closes back up it's so powerful in keeping you healthy all you have to do is move it feed it and have it rested a little bit mm. if you really break it down you know so unfortunately however we with, with the current society that we are in with the kind world that we move in the kind of speed that we move in we are not able to find all the right things to eat at the right time, you know? Mm. So, and then when I say to people, I don't have time, I can't at this, I say all you have to do is just plan something. If you're taking a flight tomorrow, you pack, you get ready, you make sure your passport is with you, and then you get on that flight. But when you are eating, you don't think, of, think about like, what I'm gonna have for lunch the next day, yeah. and you end oh, up picking something, <laughs> you know? So um, all it takes for me is to plan my meal for the next day, How, and it becomes part of your habit. So, uh, and when that happens, you end up kind of putting the right things into your body, wholesome food, and most likely from wholesome food, you would get all the supplements that you need, mm. um, which is another thing. Um, so, uh, gut is super, super important in my opinion. 
about the sort of misconceptions? A lot of people were here biohacking the hill, longevity. It's all about being healthier. It's all about denying yourself things, etc. It's all about, uh, as you say, being a better person. What about socialising, though? We're social beasts as well. Is that part of it? 100%. It's called social determinants. So social determinants is what we have here. We're so fortunate to live in a place such as Dubai where we have those all around us. Job opportunities, the possibilities to be part of communities, mm. being close to the beach, activities, all of these events that we have, these are social determinants that help us to actually live a better life and therefore a longer life. So social determinants is super important. Having a close network of friends, family, etc. is again, very important. Mm. Um, we discussed sleep, nutrition, social determinants. One very important aspect of health and fitness has to be recovery. Yes. How important and also how do you exactly define recovery? Because recovery you typically associate it with if you have an injury of some sort, you Correct. need a recovery period. But what is the other meaning of recovery that's essential to us? So we're constantly bombarded. So we're out in the environment. Let's say you go outside right now, there's dust, the heat, the sun, all of that and your body is trying to deal with that, right? You eat something that is not maybe incredibly healthy, your body is trying to deal with that. You don't get a great night's sleep. Your body, is, your body is trying to deal with that. Um, you exercise. The only way to grow is to actually cause trauma to the muscle. The only way for the muscle to grow is for it to recover. So therefore, we're constantly in recovery mode. But what we do is sometimes not allow the body enough time for it to recover. Mm. And it's incredible at doing that. All you have to do is give it some help between here and then. Make sure you're hydrated, make mm. sure you have a good night's sleep. And maybe if you're able to, you can do or use equipment to help you recover even faster, such as red light therapy or hyperbaric, oxygen, uh, saunas, ice baths, all of the different things that are available. But these are not essential. You don't have to do that. They're around you all the time. All you have to do is walk outside in the early light and you get red light. Um, ground yourself when you're when you're up in the morning see light the first thing it resets your circadian rhythm and so on and so on mm -hmm. so it's minor changes that you do that actually really transform you from the inside out uh, you spoke about grounding and in fact my homeopathy doctor has been after my life to just walk barefoot outside on the grass just yes. to you know feel connected to the earth and it's something I've been really struggling to do although it sounds like one of the most simple things to do. Please stick around with us there's so much more we want to get into when it comes to the topic of health and biohacking. It's time for a quick break. Up next we have a specialist in neuropathy and functional medicine coming in to teach us how to biohack our bodies so we can live healthier lives and now let's meet our performer for the evening. Hey guys, we're version three. We're going to be performing Don't Stop Believing, so tune in to the end of the show.